Hey, what's up? This is Hyun Suk Yoon, and welcome to the Numerous Model Builder tutorial series. Uh, Numerous Model Builder is a multi purpose modeling software that integrates many types of modeling paradigms with a flexible scripting language that supports classroom teaching, prototyping, and parameter optimization. Throughout this tutorial series, you and I are going to go over various features of the Numerous Model Builder um, while exploring the basics of modeling and model analysis techniques. And by the end of this tutorial, you're going to be equipped with all the information and important uh, all the information and skills necessary to become a relatively fluent model analyst. And I promise you, having modeling experience and quantitative skills is one of the most important assets in an academic career. So I hope you're excited as much as I am. So without further ado, let's go over the basic layouts of the numerous model builder in the screen together. All right, so the general way the modeling process works in Numerous is you first build a model on the canvas, visually using various icons in the folders on your right. So let's, I'm just going to show you these a little bit. Um, so this is Capsule, Components, Display and Controls folder, and all these good stuff. And then you view the, once you build the model on the canvas, and you view the results on the dashboard when you cl click launch. So I'll share an example. So I'm going to pull up a logistic growth model here. I have pre-made. And here's the model, and this is how the model looks like on the canvas. Um, all these little components are built from using the materials in the component or displays and controls folder. So these two, so state is this one, flow is this one, um, then we have line graph here, and the sliders are for the parameters we have here. Um, and then let's go over the model a little bit. So these are the sliders, which are the um, parameters in the differential equation we have right here. Um, N is the stock, the state variable, whatever you want to call it, and the initial population <laughs> is set up as 10. And the graph is the visualization tool for this model we have. And we have currently N as the thing to be visualized. The next thing we're going to look at is the time setting. So this is the model name. Uh, we have the start time and the end time. And DT is the time step. So we set it as 0 0.01. So we have about 2,000 time steps. And the method, you can have it either continuous time frame or discrete time frame. So RK4 to Euler is going to be used for the continuous and discrete is discrete. And now we're going to launch and this is the dashboard I've been talking about. So here we have the classic dashboard. Um, the sliders are the sliders we put up right here. Graph is a graph component. Um, you can switch back and forth between the graph and the table. Uh, this is the programming window, script window. Um, if you want to put up some scripts for the model, you can do that here. But we're going to go through that later in the tutorial series. And once you're done, you're going to run the model and it makes a simulation. So a simulation is making an instance of the model given the specific values of parameters, such as putting the values in the sliders right here and giving the right time frame. And then the numerous makes that instance of the model and creates a graph or table or any visualization you like to see. So that's pretty much the furthest extent I'm going to go over with you in this tutorial. And from this tutorial, I just wanted you to know what Numerous Model Builder is. And we went through how the software works very superficially to get you the idea of how it all works. Um, also, I want you to remember that the model is the code and components itself. And the simulation is a one instance of the model. Yep, so in the next tutorial, we're going to go ahead and build the same logistic growth model I just showed you to learn how to build a model from the scratch using these little components in the numerous. So I hope you enjoyed this introduction. We're going to have a lot of fun, and I'll see you next time.